I think the lag is on your side, dude. This is a great way to ring in our one year anniversary. No shit, right? Nah, I'm gonna keep going. We got uh, about we actually have less than we have about forty five minutes. Less than that even. It's not me though, that's the thing. I'm green. I'm green too though, but you, your Skype might be messing up because uh We I'm, seriously I, gotta get something besides fucking Skype. Skype is the devil. But I know who. What else? So yeah, 4K. It's cool. Cool story, bro. Not worth it. Um, I, I, I remind everybody to go back to when 1080p came out and you saw how bad everything looked when it was upscaled. The content still... T there's still 1080p content lacking. It's just started to come in. It's, a lot of it's not done natively, so... Hold off. Save your money. And there's better things to waste your money on, like hookers and blow. I'm kidding. Anyway... Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, you were talking about the Twitch thing. So yeah, they, they're bringing in more ads, more. That's good for the streamers, but at the same time, uh, I hope that they, that means there's gonna be more opportunity for people to get partnered up because their their conditions are very off putting. But anyway, uh, so happy birthday to Tekken, a fighting franchise that has been uh, that's actually celebrating 20 years of infamy, just like the the PlayStation. Which I like to call the game station. Um, oh, but you remember when when fighting games were pretty much the only thing that were like in video games, and especially in the arcades, everything was a fighting game. Yeah. Okay, that's great. Good, good Tekken, check. Good Mortal Kombat. <laughs> then you had Street Fighter, Street Fighter Two, Mortal Kombat Two, Tekken Two. Um, yeah, I remember that. Shit. I, I remember that shit. I, I I take it you weren't a fan. You weren't you're not, not a fan, huh? No, because any any arcade that I ever went into, I went into right to the racing game. I never played fighting games. I played fighting games on uh when I got Sega Genesis. I got Mortal Kombat 2. Um and then I got Tekken 1. Or was it I think it was 2. Um but yeah, I didn't No, it wasn't Tekken, it was Street Fighter. It was Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter. Yeah. Street Fighter, still one of the best 2D fighting games. Highly technical. It's got finesse. But, um, some of my favorites are Dark, Dark Stalkers for like style and just overall fun. So I'd say Marvel vs. Capcom, Dark Stalkers, Soul Calibur. And you know what? A ver one that's really underrated. Uh, Two of them are very underrated. Uh, Dead or Alive series and Virtual Fighter. I'm gonna throw it out there. Gotti Capcom says, versus SNK two. <laughs> Gotti says MK Games for the win. Upset. MK Games were fun, but on a technical side, like there wasn't that much finesse to them. Like it was very like clunky, you know, and and, and just more about the the gore and the, the eye candy. But they were good games. Soul yeah, Calibur, DOA is amazing. Yes, dude. DOA, uh, DOA has one of the best counter systems I've ever seen. In a fighting game, in spite of the fact that they focus a lot on their physics and making the boobs super bouncy, that game is actually a really serious game. Yeah, but, but a lot of people write it off. Too. Well, yeah, but the thing, people see that, that they see the realistic boobs, and they're like, "Oh, this is this is a bit hypersexualized." Beep, beep, beep. But it, yeah, but the gameplay is fun. I want it's actually a good game. I do want to say dismissive. this for any man that wrote off DOA and did that and said, oh, "I'm not thinking you're a queer." Just saying. You get to edit that out too, but whatever. Oh God! Uh, <laughs> the op the opinions and thoughts expressed by uh, Mr. Obi One X Two are not necessarily that of Geeky Antics Network or Yogizilla. Thank you. Here's your disclosure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, even we even getting Deckard, we're getting Paul uh, Misty eyed over here. He's a man when Fr Virtual Fighter came out for the first time. That was the shit, dude. It was. I love that game when it came, first came out. Then it got really old. Oh They're still God. making new ones, and apparently yeah. it's, it's one of the most technical, like, really hardcore fighting games out there. Okay, there's the nothing realistic about the booze, but, you know, like, they they feel real because they just, they're so immersive. <laughs> you sit there, you can sit there, and if you, if you like, I've done this before. I did it with a Smite, a Smite champion, or a, God, and I went just sat there, and when she came in, I watched, and I just followed it, and my head went like this. 
whole time. That's what they were doing. They were just going around in circles. And then she'd go up, and then they you know, bounce, and then around in circles. That physics engine just has so much polish to it. And everybody has shiny skin. Apparently, everybody oils up their skin and, you know, makes sure they stay polished. But uh, anyway, so we're talking about the Little Squad thing, so we're not going to go into that. Um, I don't want to dampen the mood, but we got to mention this because, you know, we, we are still primarily. Yeah, I know you did. And so you want to do it here, too, because, you know. I will. Oh, we will. I will. Uh, guys, last, uh, last week, uh, one of the, uh, at least he says grandfather, but I want to say one of the godfathers of a video game the video game industry died at age 92 uh ralph bear b-a-e-r he is most notable for creating if you guys remember simon okay you know the four lights and have to pick the colors he created that and a game that made my ch uh yogi's childhood our childhood very memorable um we, you will be missed sir thank you very much for all you've done but anyway what do you want yeah, I want to. I want to say Simon. Simon was Shizzle. And then so, Simon says Simon, came out. It comes that come after that, and that was a game that you play with a bunch of kids. And... No, Simon, uh, speaking spell, and uh, the Rubik's cube. So many good times. Just a few things that I ah. Uh... Anyway, yeah, we de definitely gonna miss you, man. Uh, but now it's years old. That's a good life. That's a long life, you know. I'm sure he died a natural cause, and then hopefully it wasn't a painful death. That's what we could all wish for, right? Yeah, I didn't say anything about if he had died, you know, in his sleep or if he had, you know, whatever. But 92 years old, they just come out with it. Yeah. I, you want to say he died in his sleep? That had a massive painful heart attack. And we still we got the fighting hype going. The, 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 the debates about which fighting game is the best. <laughs> King of Fighters is well known for making the bosses super cheap. <laughs> right. Now, guys, and, we go ahead. Oh, I guess uh, no, 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 it's and uh, the debating which which uh, fighting game is the most uh, technical. Oh, but man, uh, geez. we might have to make a show just about that. We, Maybe will, a special we should do stream. a fighting game week. We could do a Street Fighter and you know do some. Maybe we can figure something. Out. I, I don't I'm still trying to figure out where my copies of Marvel vs. Capcom 3 and Street Fighter 4 are at. I don't want to have to rebuy those games. That would right. piss me off. Guys, but this I is the time. I play Skullgirls, Skullgirls with uh, BFT. That's, really? That should be up on uh, on YouTube. Wait. He kicked my ass. Did he? Yeah. Guys, this is the time where we usually do a our, our favorite man crushes in, in, in or geek girls. Um, but we do. We love to do it because we get you know, and we get to shout out more people. And say that who, and say who we've been checking out for the last week or two. Um, now this is a if you guys want to suggest a uh, suggest or be a guest on the on the Sunday dose on the Horseplay Live. <laughs> wow, what the I'm, hell? I'm thinking about the Fred the the Ralph Bear thing, dude. Leave me alone. If you guys do want to be a guest on Horseplay Live, you guys can look us up. Of course, you guys can check us out. Contact us via Twitter, all games, and the official game website. We love hang out for you. For now, let's share our geeks of the week. Janelle, what is your who is your geek of the week? Nobody. Okay. Um. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah. We're gonna let Yogi go last just because he talks more. I'm um, lagging. Yeah, I probably am too. Um. The. Oh God. The now one, it's me. Yes, it is you. The one. Per it's always been you. You just didn't know. Uh, now there's been a quite a few people that I try to you know no. give shout outs to every week and and one person and this is the the first guy in chat today guys and I just wanted to um just shout him out just because he does what he does because he loves to do it and he's streaming right now but if you guys want to leave of course you guys can but please don't Yancey guys uh you guys check him out twitch.tv forward slash Yancey that's Y A N T Z I and it looks like I may have uh bit the dust again um am i i think yogi just went offline now so <laughs> we are gonna keep keep it going oops yeah nope i just spelled it wrong uh it's yancey with an i at the end so you guys check him out um 
And, uh, yeah, I think Yogi is actually gone. He vacated the premise. Oh, wow. There goes. That's awesome. Oh, yes. This was the birth. The birthday show. The birthday show is here. We are doing it. Uh, even though we get cut off. It's all good. It's all good. He's back! <laughs> it's like you turn your head and went, Hi, I'm back. <laughs> yeah. But. So we might have to cut it short. I know. Uh, it's going to be a lot of editing. Yogi, what is, who is your geek of the week, man? My geek of the week is actually two people converge into one. They form like Voltron mm -hmm. and form one person. And they're called Link Wall. Okay. I uh, says your one of them your, your penis mic takes too much bandwidth. It's so big. All right. Uh, there he goes again. Welcome back. All right, guys. What he was saying was Link Wall, one of the many peeps that has shown us um, at Geeky Antics just love for our, in social media and Twitch guides. So, uh, Link Wall, uh, big shout outs to you, Big Rocket. Yeah. <laughs> Yogi's going crazy right now. So, but what we are going to do, um, I think Janelle number five is going to join us. Maybe, maybe not. We might be ending a little bit short tonight. Ah, poor chop. What's up, big guy? How you doing? There he is. He's back now. Sorta. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going. <laughs> um. So yeah, link, link wall. That's my choice. I I I, I read, read everything that you said. So we keep going. <laughs> do Do we want to do this? Do we want to do the the quickie? Yeah. Let's ah! Do it. Quickie. <laughs> oh, I think oh, and Janelle, Janelle oh, was really yeah. Oh my god. Janelle was really excited about joining us. I can't think we're good now. Uh, <laughs> for the show, but she's been frustrated with all the stuff. She's been having some technical issues of her own, so I get it, you know. It's Twitch though, dude. A lot of it is Twitch. Well yeah, yeah. But uh you know, women are emotional creatures, so if we get pissed off, we can, I can only imagine how upset she... I've been in there in a stream when some of the stuff happens. Like, she'll mm. go from, like, having a great old time to be like, all right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. See like, you guys, I don't know I'm leaving. Click, Bam. The stream just goes down, boom. Like, damn. <laughs> We're doing great, Porky. We're celebrating our one-year anniversary of Horseplay a lot. How are you doing, buddy? Uh, but the quickie, quickie today, guys, is we're, like he said, we're... we're, we're both of our Skypes and our internets are blowing up right now. So I want to make sure we get this show in and get it all done. And Yogi, I have been recording the whole time. So just my stream went out. So we're good. Um, but our favorite horseplay moments, guys. What we, We've been through 52 episodes, one solid year. So we want to tell you guys a little bit of our favorite moment. Um, and I'll go first because mine's a little bit short. He's got most of mine written down too, by the way. Oh, okay. Uh, well, it it was when we had our first, our first, um, and you can say it too. You can, uh, but when we had our first uh, 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 guest, special guest, and that first guest was a developer, that was awesome. Um, not many people. I mean, developers when they come onto a show, you have to you have to be a hundred shows in just for them to come on, because they don't you know they don't want to waste their time. Uh, but this guy is just awesome started, uh, said, yeah, I'll try it. You know, let's do it, you know. And it was like episode five. So, I mean, really appreciate uh, and this. You know, of course, our mod online. Uh, the the other thing that I, that, that I started that, yeah, I think, I don't know who really started it. I just kind of kept it going. Uh, but the Epic Beard Club, it's still a thing, guys. Um, now, I can't promise you. That mama's gonna let me keep this, but dude, I am so close, guys, to where she's gonna let me keep this all year round. If this happens, I might look funny for the first couple weeks because I might be able to keep this, but I have to shave this. So it's beard, no mustache, goatee, no mustache. So it's yeah, it's up in things. <laughs> But that's another thing that I that I really love to 
to to put out there this you know the and then i think episode oh man i want to say it was the last episode with soldiers when he was like we were just cracking up i mean it was like almost an hour of laughter it was just so hilarious because we were talking about something just really stupid and he goes shut up boy and i just started laughing and he started laughing and it was just um, he might have used his gay voice too. Um, at one point, it wasn't him. <laughs> um, but you know, just things like that, guys. That that's what I love being doing. This. And the last thing is that you know, of course, new people that come around all the time, new viewers, new listeners, always going Amish, dude. No, but I'm gonna. I swear to God, if she lets me keep it, ZZ Top Beard incoming. Not playing. I will sit there and grow it out and square it off. It's coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's coming. Um, but th those those kind of things, those kind of moments that you know where we 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 can just come on here and have fun. And you know, there's always been moments you can ask Yogi, you can ask anybody where we've come on here, and I look like I'm ready to strangle somebody. Uh, you know, and that's more than not. <laughs> on my end but oh, um, God. you know it, it, it's just the point that I'm you, losing OB you are yeah um, say something now I think we're good I'm white I mean oh, God. my Skype is white <laughs> <laughs> I didn't yeah anyway um, but it's it's more t more times than not where you know we we start something and, and we just have a whole bunch of feed that from a whole bunch of different people um, that's what I really enjoy. And then just being able to do this every week. Yogi? Yogi. Yogi Zilla. Uh, what is your favorite horseplay moment? Yogi? Hello? Hey. Well... When Yogi, I'm getting it Monday or Tuesday. All right, let's talk to Chad a little bit. Hey, uh, Porky, of course, how are you? Um, he's been having... Oh, huh? Wow, I don't even know if I want to read this off in chat. <laughs> I really don't know if I want to or not. But he can call me back here in a second. <sighs> Sorry, guys, for all the tech issues. I think Skype is just saying, you know what? We're not gonna we're gonna stop working for our list today. But um Yogi does have an Xbox. He doesn't have an Xbox One. And um and, and yes, Obi is be getting I will be getting a PS4 just because I'm um, that kind of dude. Oh you know. Oh, you don't know? Here's your reference. Wrestling reference. No BFT. I am not going Amish. This is not going to happen. But for those, you guys can... Um, where Yogi's at? He's going to be like, oh, you didn't finish the show? Here, let me try calling him. Maybe this will work. Sometimes... Whoa. Inter internet connection problem. Everything's working, guys, so we're going to try to try to get this going and see what happens. Do, 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 do. And a fan. Porky. PS4 hype. Cool. Yeah. Uh, I, have a, I have the PS4. I'm getting the uh, free Xbox sponsor to do what? Competitive Call of Duty? Are you serious? You're full of shit, dude. Away, grats, bro. Grats. If you get anything else, just hook me up. You need to get a, a PS4 com for competitive stuff, and then hook me up with your other one. That's what it is. That's where it is. What it is. Yeah. I don't know. Panic lizards are coming. Oh no, nothing to panic about. Nothing to panic about. We are gonna get this set up. Uh, Yogi, are you still in chat, man? Don't know. 
And there's going to be a lot of editing today. But, um, yes, Yogi will get back in, back in a few, hopefully. Once that happens, we will continue. I know he wants to, he really wants to talk, um, you know, the things that he's done since the beginning. Uh, you know, the, the fun times that he's had. A lot of his fun times are, of course, I broke. <laughs> he, he broke. Let's see. Free Xbox, the game, and a free year membership, and a scuff controller. All free. Yeah, you're that good. All right, man. I'm going to back you. I'm going to back you straight up. I'm going to back you. So then when I send people to your channel saying, hey, this is a competitive, this is a pro, plays Call of Duty pro, the pro, go check him out. You suck and people don't say nothing. Not my fault, right? <laughs> I think Yogi, <laughs> yeah, Yogi got EMP. <laughs> Well, I'm going to turn my camera back on for you guys. You guys can at least see one camera for now. Um, hopefully pro. Yeah, that would be awesome, dude. Seriously. Uh, Yogi, what's, uh, what, what'd it do? What'd it do? Where'd I, where'd I hear that from? What'd it do? What'd it do, girl? Uh. I can't remember. It's some show. It's probably some kid show that I, I watch. Funky man. But anyway, just, and I want to get this out of the way. I'm sure we can, uh, I do want to give some shout outs and love because, of course, I want to make sure, try to keep going, of course. But uh, every week, guys, we try to, I really don't want to. See, let's try calling Yogi one more time. Have a Yogi, give us a call, buddy. Do do do. Yo, let's try it. Do 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 do. Right. See the one time, the one time we actually. The one time we actually have a good show for you guys, and it's all planned out, and it's you know happy birthday show, and and now we we get interrupted the last half hour. I really. Yep, we're having internet connection. Uh, Obi, when you get a PS uh, dollar sign, you should eventually get Destiny. Or guilty gear or injustice. I will definitely, dude. I, I'm going to get a bunch of games. I know I need to get uh, the whatever basketball game is out because I want to play with Porky. And then um, there was one other game that he wanted me to get so I could play with it. I think it was the FIFA, maybe. Um, but it was, and then, and then I'm going to choose some games. And I'm a sports guy or a shooter gay guy. Um, don't ask me to play no freaking strategy games. I'm not going to do it. Uh, once we start stramming, uh, lag picnic, lag panic. You, am I lagging right now, guys? I can turn my camera on so you guys don't freak out. Am I lagging still? Huh. But uh, no, once I get once I get that settled and everything, then we'll be doing like um, like a couple days a week. We'll be doing a, a stream from the PS. <laughs> Um, I, I will play that. I'll try it. Um, I just don't want to spend the $2 to buy it. If somebody wants to give it to me, I will definitely more than like, I will definitely, I think Yogi's going to give it to me anyway, or I'll just spend the $2 to buy it. Um, but we're going to be doing that sometime this week, later this week. Uh, mount your friend. So, Yogi, what... That's, uh, Yogi, if you are still here, buddy, what do you want me to do? You want me to, Yogi's not even online anymore. So, we're just going to go through this, guys, just because I want to make sure we give shout-outs. 
A little voice is choppy like Bill Cosby's hair. Wow. I wasn't even, I'm not even the one lagging. <laughs> Put me in, coach. This is my PP, aka a a 4G. <laughs> oh, man. What do you want me to do, man? I want, I, I'd really like to wait for him because he's, he's got some really memorable moments. Put Paul in. Deckard? All right. Uh, are you on our play live? This is really, this really sucks too, because we're like on our like our birthday stream. Okay, who's Paul? Is that Deckard? Yes, no, yes. Uh, one of and, and this is one of Yogi, and I'm just gonna say it as he types it for you guys that are listening in the podcast. And sorry about all this. This is you know, yeah. But um, some of Yogi's most memorable moments in horseplay, and he's actually gonna call in. So this is Yogi. What's Yogi. up, buddy? I'm calling in from the bat phone. From the bat phone. Yes. Okay. It is attached to my BB. Oh God! <laughs> All right, so we're gonna try this again. Uh, the so you're not you're not using camera, so I don't need to. All right, so I have my camera on still, guys, so you guys can check that out. So, but okay. you can put go. the cartoon version of me in, in the window. Yes, that's what I'm gonna do. Go ahead, dude. Tell us your most. Most memorable moments from Horseplay Live over the last year? Uh, I would say the moment that I, uh, I forgot what happened. I think we were derailing really bad, and then you guys, you and uh, Soldier were teaming up against me, double teaming me, and then I finally said, you know what, screw you guys, and I took off my, my bandana and revealed my really shiny, freshly shaved head, and you were blinded by its epicness. That was pretty cool. Blinded by the light. Yogi took off his bandana and blinded us by the light. <laughs> oh. Um. <laughs> a, little rock, a little rock theme going on tonight. Yeah, blinded yeah. by the light. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, nope, guys, we are still live. Uh, uh, Ulu Fane. Dude, we're still here, I promise. Okay. Uh, what else, Yogi? You got any more memorable? I know this is really terrible on how it's done. <laughs> uh, when, Je when Janelle joined the crew, that was fun. Yes. You know, we, we, you know, I hate to say it because people, when you say it, like people think you're just pandering, but it's good to have a woman around because then people aren't qu as quick to say, oh, you guys are insensitive or you guys are sexist. Like, no. Like, see, a lot of the female listeners we have, that, you know, they, they, they comment that, you know, they agree with what we, what we say. Like, the stuff we talk about what, what's going on with Twitch, like how it's devolving to a glorified campsite and you know a lot of the stuff that happens you know that you gotta explore all sides of the issue you know gamergate is quick to say you know there's a lot of discrimination against women but there's also opportunity for women too so i mean the issues are there but you gotta look at all the sides and, and really talk about those things so you know when Jenna, Jenna joined the group crew hopefully we'll get her maybe we'll start doing that you know the show a little earlier uh, we definitely. That's one of the things we're looking at. 2015 is switching up the format a little more. Uh, you know, get, getting out on a on an earlier time maybe, so it's easier for everyone. Um, you got to figure out what that sweet spot is. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. I don't know if we could stream live at 5 p.m. on all games. That'd be hard to do. It'd be chaotic. Cause that's usually when everybody. You know, we're both family men, so our families would be very active, and there'll be tons of interruptions. I don't know if that could work out. And it's just before dinner time. Mm -hmm. So but we wouldn't get done till seven, seven thirty. My wife would not have that. Yeah, exactly. Like, 
So, so we Very had this funny. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, well, or who knows? Who knows? Maybe we'll we'll find a different slot all games and we can work it out so that'll be more convenient. But I like I like opening up for uh Dead Pixel Live and, and mm-hmm. B Team and that side of things. So um so what else? Uh you know, like like a lot of the things you said, you know, having uh the developer interview early on and having them give us uh, the, the the professional courtesy and you know, he, he Mike Jordan, he got out of his comfort zone because he didn't even know how to use Skype or any of that stuff. Like he was still figuring out his webcam. <laughs> yeah, which a, a really older, but like not a good techie. <laughs> yeah, and it was it was to the point where after the show you told me that, and I was like, really? He was starting to look like a natural there because he he did. He was looked like he knew what he was doing, but he'd never done it before. And I was like, wow. Yeah, he set all that stuff up for us. I think he actually even set up Skype for us, so that was really cool. I tried to uh, reach, you know, reach out back to him, touch base with him, get him back on the show for just a quick t- check in and stuff. But he's been really busy. But uh, it'd be cool to, you know, a year later see how he's doing. So who knows? We got five Maybe episodes until it's his year anniversary on the show. Might That's true. That's true. That that'd be a cool little thing to do. But like if we if we get lining up like that. But we are getting uh, um, the developer of Choice Chamber on the show. Uh, he's part of a three man team called Studio Bean. And uh, that, so that'd be I can, cool. I can expect copies. I I I, I could probably work <laughs> that out. Yeah. Um, I don't want to play. But yeah, nah. no. Yeah, I'm, no. I'm gonna try to. Because my viewers would troll the hell out of me, and it would not be good. Oh yeah, my my my, my viewers do the same thing all the time. They always give me the darn pogo stick, and I'm falling down holes all the time. Just dying, dying to holes. Holes always kill you, yo. Them hoes though, um, but yeah, there's been so, there's been so many good times. Uh, you know, I I also remember when uh, when Soldier was uh, you know really uh, bitter about the fact that I I, I took away his uh, his uh, pentakill. <laughs> I don't yeah, know. I you didn't, took more wait, pentakills was, from yeah. people than I know, dude. Because you took one from me too. Yeah, yeah, but see, that's why I quit playing not... League. Everybody is because Yogi took my pentakill. But if you looked at the end, I pulled out all the damage, and he actually kept k- killing, getting the last hits. I was the one tanking and also doing most of the damage. I was the bruiser, and then he would just come in and clean up. Yeah, because he was he was a, he was a glass cannon. Yeah, I know. But I'm just saying. Yeah, you. Uh, 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 yeah, whatever. I, I set I set it up for him. Exactly. So why are you mad? Why is he mad? You get, what's it's a quadruple not dude. good enough? Soldier, right, like, come on. He's so, so butthurt about it. <laughs> he was, dude. <laughs> he was so butthurt. He's like, hey, you took my good pedicure. Yeah, but it was great, though. The Zin Chow and the uh, Akali combo was just great. Oh, yeah, that game, still, that, that game will always hold a special place in, in my heart. And, you know, I'll always come back to it every now and then. But, you know, it's like. You go, you go on Twitch, and that's, like, the number one most streamed game. Like, that and CSGO are, like, the most popular in terms of viewership. Okay, wait, uh, hold on and, now. And Dota 2. And Dota 2. Okay, hold on now. Don't put CSGO in the same category ever as League of Legends. Uh, I'm it's just, but it's the, it's the most viewership. viewed game? No, it's not, dude. You got League of Legends, whenever, Dota, right, Dota whenever 2. I check, dude, whenever I check it, every time I check the directory, it's, like, in a must top, top five. Well, it's top Every five. Top you can't say League of Legends, Dota 2, and whatever game's going on that night. Basically, a Street Fighter or a uh, Smash Brothers or whatever is that. Game. But League of Legends and Dota 2 are the top two almost every single night. Yeah, and the problem with the smite, Smite's moving up into that space, and the problem with that is that, that you know, it, it's going to start drawing in that toxic community. So that's why another reason I'm really enjoying Heroes of the Storm. Everybody's just so friendly on that. Like I just start, I just start randomly dancing in that game and goofing around and people are laughing and having a good time. What? That's, what should, that's what games should be about: having fun, not complaining did, about did, social issues and all did, this crap. Did you get into the new game, Overwatch? I I might I might be getting in the next couple of weeks, hopefully. So we'll you see. Didn't get your email I'm trying yet? to. Uh, Unless I missed it. You better check, dude, because I got mine today or yesterday. Mm. I'm so playing Overwatch, guys. So you guys start when we start streaming, we're gonna play some Overwatch because that shit looks fun. It looks I, awesome. I mean, 
Yeah, Overwatch is awesome. The thing, the thing is, I'm, I'm more excited about Heroes of the Storm because it's like all the years of Blizzard games put into amalgamated into this great game where your favorite characters you can play as them and right. well, it just I... reminds me so much of Warcraft Three, like all the things I love about that game and, Star- yeah. and Starcraft Two. It's like, it's just, it's just great. It's a beautiful. It's a great standalone game and it's also a, a homage, a homage, whatever way you want to say it. I have to a, play a homo. it. It's a homo. I have homo. to play it. More. Homo. If I can play it more. <laughs> And actually, you know, figure it figure it out a little bit more. I've only played it like twice. You, you know? gotta you gotta do the co op because when you do co op, you you're in fifty percent more experience, and and then it's like you start unlocking so many things. When the characters open up, that's when it becomes fun. So so play it with you then. Yes, yeah, that's basically what it boils down to, kids. We'll, we'll set up a night or we'll have a we, we maybe maybe tomorrow night retro Friday stuff. Is that really Retro Friday though? Well, I guess it, it could work. Well, it's really not retro. Well, it's not Retro Friday, but hell, I mean, on mine, I'm having a Steam like Sundays. It'll be like for the show, like for the talk show. It's Steam Sundays, like games on. And then the rest of the week, you'll just avoid Steam like the plague. No, I'm on <laughs> Steam every day, dude. I'm kidding. I play CS:GO every day. Come on. That works out pretty well too because Steam, uh, when they had the free to play weekend, they end uh, in the like around three or four Eastern, uh, three or four PM Eastern when they had the free free to play games on Sunday. Yeah, yeah. They go from from Thursday night to through Sunday usually. So, yeah, but lots of there's been so many good memories and. I mean, I wanted to play. I have a bunch of voicemails to play for you guys, but uh, I guess we'll do a next show. We'll, we'll make this a, a two- or three-parter because, you know, keep the party going, you know. Not, we don't want to make it a, a sprint. We want to make it a marathon, you know what I'm saying? So keep those voicemails coming in. Uh, we'll play another another hit by Deckard. Deckard C. It's going to be uh, the all-time best voicemail we ever got. Uh, well, yeah, it is. The, although a close second is the old man uh, jerking off to the sound of Obi's voice. Or whatever was going on. I don't know what's going on with that. No, it was yours. <laughs> or was it mine? Yeah. I'm pretty sure he asked you to, to take out your balls and whip them around. I'm pretty sure. Probably. But, but a lot of people but, do that, dude. <laughs> yeah. I can't keep track of just one person. Come on. That's true. And that happens all the time. It's like, jeez. Okay. Stop, stop objectifying me. I'm not a piece of meat, man. But, uh... <laughs> Decker did a wonderful uh, karaoke video game review where he went through all the Steam winter sales and and he, I, mean, I don't know he went through like a hundred of them or something and then like picked out his favorites from them. It was crazy. Well, I got a couple ideas of what I'm actually gonna do every day, and I'll and I'll tell you. I think you're gonna like it actually. And yes, BFT, BFT can can uh, can can prove. Uh, he, I'm not lying. He, I'm on CS:GO every single day, all day. <laughs> It's true. I've only, I played seventy. I played seventy five matches and I got sixty two wins. So I should be getting ranked up here. Cause you're blinded by the light. Shoot them up, boys. We're gonna blow them in the tunnel. Um, blow them in the tunnel. That sounds like a blow bad them porn up movie. in the tunnel, dude. You're God. Here we go. The, Skype, from the creator, Skype's, or, Skype's from the creator again, ordered guys, so. a cock ring is right. blow him in the tunnel. <laughs> the Ooh. new epic film from about me. what happens in war when soldiers are bored. And in a tunnel. <laughs> from the Behind enemy lines. Because we're going to die. You mind if I just blow you in the tunnel? <laughs> All right. Let's do <laughs> Shout outs, guys. Shout out to the love. We every week we try to see how high or how low we can get onto the all games charts. This week we didn't we got in the top fifteen. Congratulations. We want to go to the top ten though, but we got number fourteen this week. And you guys gotta remember yeah. that that's that's with some huge podcasts every week. You know, Andy with forty two level one. Love you, buddy. But you know, stop being so good of a podcast. Thanks. Um don't forget to help us out, guys, by playing our stream on allgames.com around 5 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Pacific, and 10 p.m. GMT. We're, we're hitting, we got to hit the top 10 again, guys. We need your help. Um, and even to make it into the top five. Uh, play our stream on your smartphone, tablets, computers, even your toasters, if that's got a screen. Go ahead. You know, play it. 
wherever you guys can play our stream, it really, it really, it, it does. Or help. speakers, if you have speakers, it'll work too. Like, like, I mean, if you have us on, this is kind of cheating, but you have us on your phone and you have us on your iPad, that's two viewers. So help us out, guys. Help us yeah, out. Yeah, if you're really lazy, all you gotta play is five minutes of our stream, and it counts towards our numbers. <laughs> but but we prefer if you listen the to the competition whole thing. is fierce, as our friends, like I was saying, with Zombie Cast. 42 level 1, the B-Team podcast, Cat and Fox, Saska Lady, Gaming History 101. Uh, we have all those guys to contend with, and it's really crazy. Yogi, are you on the show notes? Can you actually see those CDs? I, I can. Well, there you go, buddy, right there. I hacked, I hacked the Matrix. Did you? Am I, am I taking the next part? Yes, that one right there, where it says, yeah, yeah. It says your name. I don't see your cursor. Where did you put it? I We're see, gonna do some, uh, I see one, OB. One more oh, shout out, guys. Yes. I would like oh, to yeah, shout yeah, out. Yeah. Technoax. Yes. We got to give love to Technoax because he's kept us away from uh, Amazon and YouTube's uh, automated beatings, which aren't very cool. Matter of fact, last a last, uh, couple weeks ago, I had to recut a video, splice out certain parts because... You know, uh, it was a two-hour show for Tommy Wami Tea Time, and we put, like, uh, a 10-minute remix song in there that was, like, completely remixed mis uh, mashup of different songs. And, and Amaz both Amazon, you know, Amazon, Amazon owns Twitch, and YouTube went, sorry. Right. I like, thank you. And they mute... And YouTube's really asinine about it now. They, they mute the entire thing. Not that little segment. They mute the entire video. So it becomes this like silent film. It's like really with all that tech you have, can you just splice out that one part that's offensive or that breaks you know, supposed copyright infringement? But if you guys are you know? kind of wondering what's what's this mean, but <clears throat> YouTube and Amazon have something now to where if you have any copyrighted music, you have to have the permission slip up before you put the video up. So then they don't ding it. Um the reason being is because there's been a lot of copyright infringement and people are just getting in trouble. Now, with YouTube, uh, with uh, Technoax, so you guys can go right to his, um, his website, technoax.com, and just say, hey, I need a permission form. He actually has it. You don't even have to ask him. You just get it. There's a spot, and then he'll you put, in your, you put in your own name, what it is, and what you're using it for. And he sends you, basically, it's an automated system, and it sends you, and like mine says, uh, dear to who may, whoever may concern, OB1X2 is authorized to use any soundtrack from technox.com, blah, 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 but it's all non-copyrighted music, and it's all royalty-free, so it really doesn't matter. But if you have that, it's a lot easier. If that's the music you use, you can cut and paste, cut and, and, and cut up the music segments to make cool little videos. Everything is, um, but if you guys do want to see the podcasting space grow, so please, please check out our friends at The Walker Stalker, Cat and Fox, a worthy opponent, 42 level one, gaming history 101, um, the B Team podcast, R9 cast, Knuckleballer radio, Zombie cast, Agents of Shield cast, The Bean cast, and Sega Nerds, all on Geeky, on all games. Dot com network gang and or other places where geeky goodness can be found <gasps> let them know obi and yogi sent you over from horseplay they'll say hi speaking of all games we are months we are very very proud <coughs> excuse me we are very very proud um that we're a part of all games all games we could have not made it this far uh episode 52 without you guys, without the support from you guys and, and you know, just the, the fellow podcasters, the indie developers and streamers. You guys all you guys just fucking rock. All right. Uh, that's that just it just means a lot. We we're able to do this for fifty plus episodes a year, guys. This is huge to me. We've done this for a year. Without you guys. We couldn't have done it without you. Yogi. We're Word up, yo. <clears throat> wow, I just got a little frog in my throat. I'm going through puberty all over again. Oh, He's yeah. actually crying. Uh, he just didn't want to let anybody know. I know. I, I, I promised myself I wouldn't cry. 
But uh, so yeah, um, you know, I just want to say uh, shout outs again to everyone in the chat, especially the new folks we have in here. Shout out you out earlier. Too many people to mention. It's actually a pretty live chat, and I'm still doing the lag. But uh, we got fact, fact guys. I like that name. Um, that viewer list is not updating. So oh, I see Janelle. Janelle's uh lurking there. But um, I do want to say that our Twitch stream team is ramping up, and uh, one of the things we're really getting the habit of is hosting our friends post stream, and uh, even featuring select streamers on uh, GeekyGansix.net. See so on the front page of the site, which you know. Even though we're a newest site, we're getting a lot of hits. We're getting a lot of traffic on the site. So do not underestimate the power of that. Um, and you hope you will join us as we level the playing field and uh, deliver some new experiences and, uh, and geeky antics. Hmm? See that callback? <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> but, you know, it's just funny. Like, a lot of people get, do, get, they get the basics of Twitch streaming. But when it comes to, you know, hosting people and doing the little extra things they they really missed the mark so th something as simple as hosting someone when you finish your stream it's not only good for the person you host but it's good for your audience it keeps your channel alive it keeps your audience engaged and it spreads the love and that's what we're all about but we got to wrap it up love. don't we so yes we do it's your last part dude and we're done <laughs> my last part the are we the red we're not doing the shameless plugs no that's it that's all i got that's all i got shameless for plugs. plugs we already did them oh you did them already yeah I, wow, I missed a lot. What the hell? I freaking blinked my eyes. I farted and you finished the show. Well, the last thing I want to say is make sure you join us uh, over at Time Remy Tea Time, which is Saturdays at 12 noon Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. in London, and 7 p.m. in Bucharest. And we're live uh, right here on Geeky Antics Twitch channel and on allgames.com. So, yeah. And if you like Doctor Who, The Walking Dead, if you like uh, original content like we... Uh, we, do, we write our own uh, short stories. We do flash fiction, uh, poetry, and uh, we're even thinking about doing some uh, radio dramas, you know, get different people doing voice acting and stuff. We got, we got a lot of fun stuff we're doing there, and it's family-friendly, so you can bring the kids, and we won't, we won't make their ears bleed or anything. We keep it pretty clean. Right. Yeah. All right, one second. I did forget some. Big shout-outs to, of course, our other Thursday night flagship show right here at geekyandtakes.net is the Gaming Death Podcast with... You guys can check them guys out over on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash gaming death every Thursday at 9 p.m. Eastern and hosted, hosted, let me say that one more time, hosted on Geeky Antics channel right here. And yes. that's right before and our live up. show. And heads, up. and heads up, they won't be doing a new show until 2015. So just... Uh, Everybody just get on Twitter out. and talk shit to, trick, to Chris. <laughs> exactly. At Gaming Death <clears throat> and at Death Nation. And you guys can go uh, <clears throat> GamingDeath.com. Let me say that one more time. You guys can go check their site out at GamingDeath.com. Also, Monday nights is uh, PP or Pixelated Pints with Fred and Hefe uh, um, on their Pixelated Pints YouTube channel at 10 p.m. Eastern Time and at 7 p.m. Pacific. Now, the show was last week, so it won't be till next week. So, um, all right, it was actually this week, so there's two weeks from now, which... It should uh, be on uh, Monday the 22nd, uh, the, December 22nd. Yes, I was going to say, the December 22nd is their next show. So um, they probably might take that week off because it is a holiday yeah. week. <laughs> and, of course, on Sundays, guys, we invite you. We have two shows now on Sundays. Join us at 2 p.m. for an Apostolic Outlook with Reverend Ted Tarr. Yep, my dad. Yep, good, cool. Um, and he, he just loves to do what he does. So if you guys would like to support him if you guys want to hear something um and it's a it's a religious podcast kind of sort of um so if you guys want to support him or if you like to hear something different go ahead and check him out 2 p.m right here on the on geeky antics and of course sunday dose 9 p.m with myself and goalie man for the win we discuss wow smite competitive gaming scene and all the random shit we can come up with csgo <clears throat> yes and now you can sleep in. Yes, 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 yes. For everybody that has been with me since the beginning, you guys know you had to wake up really fucking early. Watch it. Now you don't have to. You can sleep in. Yeah. Makes you happy. You're at 9 p.m. instead of 9 a.m. But if you guys want to watch any of our podcasts, you guys can check out the full podcast lineup at, and it can be found at geekyantics.net forward slash scheduling. Or forward slash schedule. 
yeah, it's a good one. If you guys are listening <laughs> to us on allgames.com, the Dead Pixel Live Power Ranking Show is up next, followed by the B Team Podcast at 9 p.m. Be sure to hang out, click the room and chat, and just say hi, guys. Give them some love. Word. Word to your mother. That's it. We we are. Thanks so much, guys, for helping us get to one year and here's to many more years of geeky goodness and shenanigans. Years? I might have to retire. <laughs> <laughs> Oh gosh! He starts saying Obi's years. I'm having, I'm having a heart attack. Oh, oh, well, <laughs> dude! If I ever have to retire from horseplay, that means I got two or three shows that I'm doing myself. Okay, and on top of it, I'll never. Re you got me until the same thing I said to my wife today. Ha! You're stuck with me until I die. She's like, "Well, that can be quick." Uh, wait, hold on. No, <laughs> that's all right. Blue, blue will be your replacement. Yeah. Oh, really? That's... I've been I've been training her. <laughs> oh. All right, guys. I'm just gonna put some music on for the end. I don't know if uh, Yogi has a lot of. Don't know if he has it available for any music. But you guys, thank you very much for everything you guys do. Thank you guys for just all the support you guys give us. We'll see you guys next week. Bye now. Oh, bye bye. Oh, that's freak. Hey. <laughs> Blue says bye too. She's yeah, trying to talk into the phone. Bye. And this is Friends Forever Remastered. Enjoy. Uh yeah. Ooh, remastered. That's not, no, that's not like all the like all the quote unquote video games that are coming out today. <laughs> yeah, every video game is remastered. Dude, we gotta stop talking. Quote unquote new video games. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm tired. I'm tired talking. You got a nice buzz going. Do you? I can tell. He's like, my <laughs> computer stopped working. Fuck it, I'm drinking. It's like, yeah, screw you guys, I'm going home. I just, I just drove to the convenience store and got some beer. Oh, got it, got it, got it. <laughs> Did you really? Didn't? No, no, I didn't know that. <laughs> I would not up, talk dude. on the phone while driving. I was gonna I'm say, like, I'm a res no, you're not. I'm responsible. Don't even, don't even. Not, no. <laughs> Kids do not drive while you're distracted or under the influence. That's bad. Okay. Now, hold on. I need to say something that for that. Now, distraction is very, very a touchy subject. Now, distraction, if, if, if you know, girl's in the seat right next to you and you, she distracts you, that's okay. Hmm. Nope. See you guys. <laughs> See you guys.